we have a square prism problem so wherein we have to construct a square prism of dimension 40 mm and axis length 65 it is resting on the hp plane on its base with all vertical faces being equally inclined to vp that means we need to construct a square with respect to square prism with respect to corner position here so that's how we can able to make it uh, it's all vertical faces being equally inclined to vp okay so here in i'm constructing a square with respect to corner first i have taken a reference point then i have kept a protractor and mark for 45 degree on both sides and then i have drawn a line of length 40 mm to that 45 degree angle point so draw two lines passing through that 45 degree angle points and then take compass measure 45 mm okay measure 45 mm and <coughs> cut the arc okay so cutting the two arcs so that will complete the square prism with respect to corner position okay so construction of square with the corner position here so we can show the dimension on one side dimension of 40 mm we can draw the front view of this okay we can show the naming because it is a prism it is having two one is base heads and top base heads a a1 b b1 so a b c d is the top face notation a1 b1 c1 d1 is the bottom face notation and we can draw to find the we can draw the thin lines to find out the center of the axis okay it is bow o1 so draw one small xy line okay now project it upward to complete the so here axis length is uh, 65 mm so we'll project it upward so from the axis point okay so we'll be drawing axis uh, length axis of dimension 65 here okay using axis length we can draw the front view front view will be an rectangular face yes here we constructing a rectangular face take 65 and construct okay and show the dimension on one side can show the dimension okay so then after that you can see we need to cut a uh, cut an axis point here at a distance of 50 mm from the axis so here we have to uh, we have to draw an inclined plane so that inclined plane will be there from the top face at a distance of 50 mm from the uh, after marking 15 mm from the top i'll be taking a protractor and keeping at the reference point and marking at 60 degree angle okay so mark for 60 degree angle 60 degree angle 60 degree angle draw an angle line here passing through that uh, point okay so you can extend that uh, cut plane okay here you draw a small line to show the angle here okay small angle will be angle here it is 60 degree you can show it is exactly cut at a height of 15 mm from the top face okay So now you can <coughs> here you can see that the uh, a cut plane has been inclined exactly at 60 degree. Now we will extend to show the development of that. Okay. So here it is uh, drawn with the using parallel line method. So parallel line method it is used here. Okay. First we will take one uh, reference line here. 
so here the base side is be having 40 so it is having four sides means so exactly it equal to 160 mm so we need to draw we need to extend this uh, total length of to 160 so 15 centimeter means 150 another 10 mm so we need to extend so it will become 160 so here at this exact point we need to mark the exact points 15 mm on the top side also and then 10 okay so join this so till here we get the development of this square prism okay so now you can see here <coughs> after this so so here it is having four sides means so we can measure uh, 40 mm and we can cut four arcs here okay can cut four arcs so exactly four arcs so we can extend this okay then after that you can see we have a cut head plane here so it is exactly cutting at the a point here one and here at the b point it is b and at uh, now at the <coughs> c and d edge this edge we don't have exact point so we'll be drawing vertically downward so where exactly it is cutting the d c d edge and b c edge so so this is the point uh, here it's three okay and the same way it is cutting at the CD end okay CD end at the 4 here in between CD it is cutting here and then <coughs> the exact at the D point corner point D V is cutting there so so now we can join so we can write here capital A B C D and A okay so you can see here at A1 it is cut it is cutting at this point one one in the same way you can see the point <coughs> here two and five so the point two and five two we are getting on the exactly at the b and the five point we are getting exactly at the d point okay so we just extend a thin line and we can mark the point here okay then after that uh, so we need to so we need to mark a point uh, 3 and 4 here so 3 and 4 <coughs> we will be marking by measuring the distance so measuring the distance here uh, from point uh, point b to 3 it is exactly equal to your <coughs> d to 4 okay so we will measure that using scale here we will measure it so we need to measure from d to 4 or we can measure from b to 3 so we are getting around it is 12.87 something so it is around near to the 13 mm so we can able to measure it so we can able to measure it using compass here or we can use the scale here just for showing how much it is from d to 4 distance okay it is cutting exactly at this uh, edge right so around 13 mm i am getting so i am just showing that 13 mm here okay so 13 mm i can show okay so from 2 to 3 so you can see measure here also it is almost 13 mm only so you can measure the distance okay from 2 to 3 from 2 to 3 we can measure it how much it is so we can cut that respective arc from 2 to it is nothing but 2 3 and again from 5 5 so it is 3 again from 5 4 also it is also having the same distance so we can cut it so that is your point number 4 now we can join all these points using a straight line using scale so we can join all these points the straight line so you can join it So this is nothing but the retained portion so that's why we can uh, dark this uh, thing here we need to dark it this is what the retained portion of after it is cut by the inclined plane so we need to dark this portion again the same way 
in the same way we can dark here the front view of that cut it prism also we can dark it okay i'm going to do that just see here so this is what the retained portion so we need to dark this region here okay so <coughs> this completes the problem thank you